tasting like a boss how you doing nighttime edition i've got rollo here how you doing buddy you guys know rollo does not like me very much but he's here for the review nonetheless show him your cuteness oh so cute so anxious so full of fear all the time well you know what dude we're gonna be doing a good review today i think haven't tried it yet but this is gonna be the second flavor from a company called mean cup uh today's flavor is going to be Mississippi Queen. Real quick background again. I, I, I because people asked in the in the, uh, the, the the chats, they wanted to know where did I get it. Uh, I didn't order it. It was sent to me via mail from a friend of mine, um, David Sparky, who had just moved to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and this is a coffee shop right around the corner from them. And they know I like coffee. And so they sent it to me as a gift. I thought it was really, really sweet. Very, very kind. And uh, so I have a better example of what I was talking about. One of the other gifts they gave me was this tumbler, which has the emblem of Mean Cup there. And what they did is for, uh, for example, see, there's the image there. For the flavor that we did last time, which was Smoke and Joe, which I liked a lot, especially in the cold brew. Uh, see, they just did a little tiny cigarette with the smoke coming out. And they were smoking Joe. Well, for this one, Mississippi Queen, what they do? Same image they just drew a little crown. And Mississippi Queen. So, will this flavor remind me of that song by Mountain? I do not know. And, you know, guys, I try to pull up the website to get an idea of, like, what they're trying to do with the roast. Like, is this their medium roast? Um, is it, I don't think it's a flavored roast. But, uh, you know, what are they going for? Is it a, a morning roast? Is it... I, I have no clue, so I'm going completely blind, and we're going to do a three-way review. We got in the cold brew, brew for 24 hours. I got it in the Bones coffee mug, but it's not a Bones flavor. Just some free advertising for Bones, I guess. I've got it in the Mean Cup tumbler for the drip. You can see that steam coming off. And, of course, we're going to be doing it in the espresso. So let's get down to it. Let's give it a little sniff. Let's see what we think. It smells fruitier, is a fruitier aroma. Not as dark, I don't think, as the Smoking Joe was, but it still smells good. I also know when you brew it, it really smells good. I don't know if it's just because I really want coffee, but I'll tell you what, bringing that drip out here, bringing it outside, I just caught a full whiff of it. And I, whew, kind of looking forward to it. All right, buddy, what do you think? Let's move to the cold brew. Not much of a scent on it, typical for a cold brew. Tasting like a boss. Also really good. Huh, I'm detecting more chocolate notes in this one. Whereas the Smoke and Joe to me, Smoking Joe was great, uh, really, really was. I, I think it, it could supplant uh, my typical cold brew coffee that I do at home that's an unflavored coffee. Uh, not too dark, it's just a nice medium smooth cold brew. But this one here seems to have more of the chocolate notes that I like. Interesting, I would have thought this would not be as dark roast based upon the aroma, uh, but to me this tastes like a darker roast than the Smokin' Joe. I don't know why that is. Huh. I could be wrong. It's just the way it's hit me. Mm. Still very even. Very good. More chocolate notes. So, you know, uh, could I pick them out next to each other? I think I could, definitely. This is going to be the more darker roast with uh, chocolate notes. Uh, really good. But, you know, I think the Smokin' Joe was just so different for me. I think I like the Smoke and Joe more, but the Mississippi Queen is really good. I don't know if it's supposed to be like Mississippi Mud Pie or I don't know, but that's good. So that's a thumbs up for me. Let's move to the drip. As you probably remember, I thought the Smoke and Joe was just an okay cup of coffee. Uh, I will tell you, boss of boss, totally disagreed. Totally disagreed. Uh, she liked it a lot. Uh, she did say she wanted to put a little creamer and sugar because that's the way she takes it. But she said, this is just a solid cup of coffee and you're wrong. Now, she had the cold brew, too. She thought the cold brew was 
exceptionally smooth, like velvety, velvety smooth and good. She thought it tasted almost like a really good coffee tea. I didn't think it tasted that watery, but now that I have the Mississippi Queen, maybe, but still so good. So let's move to the drip. See if I like this one more. Tasting like it was. Ah, it smells so good. Okay. See, I like this one more in drip. Uh, you know, like again, boss of boss, really like the smoke and Joe in the drip. I wasn't as big of a fan. I didn't give it a thumbs down. I just thought it was okay. But this, I like it more in drip. But, you know, kind of makes sense, too. If it is a darker roast or if it has more chocolate notes, it would make sense I would like it more in the drip. So, for me, that's a big thumbs up there. I think this one is doing better in two formats uh, the, thus far. Now, let's move to the espresso. I will tell you, Boss of Boss said I was completely wrong, out of my mind. That the Smoke and Joe espresso was bad. She said it was sour and she hated it. I told her I thought there was a little brightness to it, but the brightness fell away. And therefore, it was good. She said, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong, and it was just vile, but I've had vile. It was not vile. So, Mississippi Queen Espresso. The notes are so much sweeter here than in the drip. Like, you can smell caramel notes. All right. Tasting like a boss. Just a, just a subtleness of, of brightness in the beginning. Mm. Caramel flavors. Better than Smoke and Joe. Better than Smoke and Joe in the espresso format. Still not the thing I'm going to brew every time, but uh, mm. I like it. It's pleasant. So for me, cold brew, I think it's exceptional. The drip, very good. Espresso, it works. I think it's better than Smoke and Joe. Uh, but, you know, still, is it my favorite? No, it's not. It's not. But this is a big thumbs up all the way across. So this is a really good company, guys. So, again, I'm going to put the description, uh, put the information for the company down in the description. And you're probably going to have to hunt it down and give it a call, check the website, see if there's a way to get the merch. But for right now, it looks like they're just sort of catering to the area. So maybe you have to get a friend in the area. But, you know, I think if enough of us spread the word about them, I'm sure we can get it. So Mean Cup in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Mississippi Queen, thumbs up. In fact, let's go back to both of them, Smoke and Joe and Mississippi Queen. Thank you again, David and Sparky. Oh, and by the way, I was wearing my, my Lake Brantley Patriots marching band shirt tonight. The, uh, the kids had a great uh, pre-MPA concert tonight. I thought they did a great job. So to any of those kids actually watch this, way to go. We love you. Until next time, from Rolo and I, what are we going to say, buddy? Keep tasting like a boss. Thanks so much.